What's going on, guys? Welcome back to the Loading Podcast. My name is AJ. And my name is Arthur. It is episode number 35, July 31st, 2020. Fun fact, today's the last day of the month. Can you believe yes, that? Yes, sir. Mm-hmm. But Hopefully anyway. Can. How are my you birthday's doing? coming up in a couple weeks. I'm, I'm doing good. Thank you for asking. I'm sorry, sorry to cut you off. But uh, <laughs> yeah, 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 it's my, my birthday month. Let's coming let up. That out. Yo, yo, I respect it. Yo, August is coming. My mm-hmm. son's about to hit tw- that big 23. Yep, I feel I, yeah, I feel like Michael Jordan, man. Feel, turning twenty three, you feel me? So, hey, man, hey. Amen. So wait, let me ask you: Are you do you think you'll feel any different than you were in the past like two or three years? Uh, no, not at all. Good. All right. Good. <laughs> I always like to ask that question for some reason to my friends whenever their um their birthday's coming up to be like, Yo, are you feeling any different? But yeah, as they say, the answer is gonna be say the same. Sorry. Yeah. As they say, age is just a number. But anyway, today we have a very stacked episode. We're going to be del- delving into some stuff from Microsoft's game uh, press. They're releasing some new games. Got some stuff from Ubisoft. I uh, have a nice little Ghost of Tsushima mini review. That Because I have a quite a lot of things to say about that game. Um, but before we delve into that, I got to ask you, my guy, how is your week, or better yet, your entire like three weeks has been? Because it's been a minute since we've been since we've done this. Oh, three weeks? It's been it's been good, honestly. Uh, nothing much has been going on. Same old, same old. Still, still in quarantine. I, I know people going outside while I'm still in quarantine. I'm not going around you people. Stay away from me. I need six feet. Thank you very much. Um, yeah, so same old, same old. Pretty much, this has been the vibe for the entire year. Fair enough, fair enough. Play yep, how about you? I was going to say, like, do you play any new games or anything like that, or just the same old stuff? Any new games... Nah, not really. I, I I guess I guess you could say I I just been I just been watching some other stuff. I picked up Last of Us for the first time. Honestly, I haven't really I haven't really played that game. I, I, I honestly when the game first came out back in 2013, it was on the PS3. I didn't have a PS3 at the time, mm-hmm. so. And, but like, here's the thing: when the game first came out, it didn't really appeal to me because it just looked like a zombie game, and I'm not really into playing zombie games. Yeah, but then I play the game and it's like, oh, okay, it's actually some kind of interesting, I guess you could say. But yeah, mm-hmm. um, yeah. Besides that, I haven't really been playing anything new per se. I know there's been a lot of new games coming out. Last of Us Two, Ghost of Tsushima, um, yeah, a couple other games here and there. Uh, Final Fantasy VII, which has been out for a minute now, but you know, I mean, still, still a newer, newer title. But I haven't really touched on any of them. I really have just been playing Last of Us, and I've just been replaying Spider-Man PS4. And, uh, yeah, Stardew still, same old, same old. How about you? All right. Um, I've been doing pretty good. Um, as you definitely know, um, I've been essentially addicted on two games recently, and that is Ghost of Tsushima and League of Legends. Um, those two games have eaten up quite a bit of my time over the last time that we spoke (laughs) that you know of. Um, aside from that, everything's been going good, um... Still just, you know, doing my own thing during this entire, uh, I guess now we're not really in quarantine anymore, but we still have to practice the social distancing. Shit, which, speak for yourself. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, like, by I'm the way, yo, people, remember, wear a mask. Wear a mask for and a fact. Stay, stay six feet away, people. For a fact. All right. Well, I feel like now's a good time to get into our, our weekly segment that we usually do every episode called Stuck on Loading mm-hmm. or Loading Complete. Basically, what this segment is, is we basically... Uh, point out two things in the gaming industry that we feel like these people are either doing something kind of stupid and they're definitely stuck on the loading screen if you get what i'm saying or we're going to point out something that's been pretty good and then you know what i mean like hey like these people are done with their loading their loading is complete if you feel me if you catch my drift all right so this week we got two things each arthur what do you want to start with first stuck on loading or loading complete well i like to stuck uh I, i like to start now on stuck on loading so do you want me to go first or you want to say your own thing first sure yeah you go first go, go first. all right so for my stuck on loading i'm sorry yo konami i liked you back in the day right yo contra um castlevania gradius yo those are the mvps right now but in recent times I'm sorry, yo, you've been doing some weird shit. So, my stuck on loading is that, essentially, they were making a Castlevania mobile game. A mobile game, first off. 
that essentially got canceled, right? I think as soon as it was gonna get released. It was called Grimoire of, of Souls. Yeah, it's gonna shut down this September. Then, right after that, I think two days ago, they announced a new game that's also gonna be on mobile devices. So, I have two things to say. One, why did you like wait why, like if you were gonna make two mobile games and you're just gonna cancel the first one without like giving it like a fair shot and two why is this gonna be on mobile devices like i was telling you earlier um this would have been perfect on the switch like it really yeah, sure. would have been perfect but no like no it's just gonna be on mobile devices i'm not sure if you're gonna have to pay for it um, I, apparently the article that I got oh, over here from, it's called Bloody Disgusting, say it may be a Chinese-only title, which is going to be extremely weird if that's the case. Um, aside from that, yo, Konami, like, I, I'm sorry, yo, sell, sell Castlevania to, like, Nintendo or even Microsoft, they need games right now. I was, uh, no, they just need to be bought out entirely by Microsoft or Sony, to be honest with you. Make the make it yeah. like make it like how Sony has like you know Sucker Punch have fucking Microsoft have Konami. Uh -huh. At this point, honestly. Anyway, that's my stuck on loading. What about you? All right, my stuck on loading is going to Microsoft. So this is this wasn't really in the news all that much, but I saw a couple articles about it. So basically, what's going on is Microsoft is removing the 12 and the 24 month subscription service to the Xbox Live. They're they're taking it out wow. like online. It's not there anymore. It's not so wait you can only get like one in three months now you, you can only get yeah one in three months pretty much and uh the reason they're getting stuck on loading is because if they're not dropping the price on the three month or the one month that means they're going to be technically charging more yeah because the three month is 25 dollars still correct so if you're buying a year's worth of three months that's a hundred dollars compared to the $60 $60 just buying a 12 month or I don't know I didn't even know they had a 24 month option on Microsoft online store but apparently that's not there anymore either so it's literally just one month and three month options left that's all you can get really and so that's why they're getting stuck on loading because why yeah why wait is this like a limited time thing or is it like permanent now I I do not know I'm hoping that it's not permanent because if it's permanent oh my god that is so retarded now it's going to be even more expensive just to play online like a hundred dollars if you get three months uh or buy three months for a year or how much is it for one month isn't it like 10 bucks uh i believe so 9.99 if I, it I is 9.99 then that's 120 dollars that's literally double what you would have to pay if you had the 12 month subscription it's just a one done deal I believe, like, you can still technically go to, like, any, like, local retailer that may sell cards, and you may be able to catch a 12-month card in stock if they have them by any, by any chance, but, you know what I mean? Like, if you're the type of person who likes to do all your shopping on your actual console, and that's including, like, your, your subscription service, you're probably gonna end up spending quite a little bit more if you wanna, you know what I'm saying, just resubscribe. Well... Like, I, I don't know why they're doing that, though. That's, that's yeah. pretty weird, so that's why they got stuck on loading. It's like, why? understandable like why would you do that in general yo mm -hmm. first konami now microsoft holy shit yo who's next ea uh, who knows who knows let's move on to loading complete uh, loading complete what you got for that yes all right so you're gonna hear me say this a lot uh, about ghost of tsushima right but uh -huh. for my loading complete ghost of tsushima is now the fastest selling like first party title on ps4 having sold 2.4 million units all over the world in the first three days which and i could have sworn i could have sworn there was an article like a month or so ago when last of us first came out that that was the fastest selling exclusive first party exclusive on the playstation and now it just got beat within like a now month and we a just half. got beat by ghost of tsushima all i'm gonna say sucker punch my hat goes off to you congratulations having a the fastest selling exclusive on a game console that already has really good exclusives isn't something easy and yes, sir, yes, sir. you know what like congratulations it's definitely what i'd like to say like the swan song of the playstation playstation mm -hmm. 4 excuse me not playstation in general but that's my uh loading complete what do you got for you 
all right, for my load and complete, this is, I'm just going to keep this as short as possible because I'm pretty sure if you're listening to this podcast and you're familiar with the whole gaming scene, you might already know about this topic, but this load and complete goes to all the people that are just speaking up of all these pe- about all these people in the gaming community. I know we haven't really touched on this because we've been away for a couple of weeks, but during this time when we were gone, a lot of people in the gaming industry got exposed for some, I mean, there's a plethora of things that they've gotten, gotten exposed for, but I'm pretty sure, if you know, you know, you know what I mean? So this loading complete goes out to the people that, you know what I'm saying, speak up and let people know what's really going on out here in these streets, yeah. because damn, I'm not, I'm not gonna name any specific, you know what I'm saying, streamer or or content creator, but if you know, you know. Yes, let's just mm-hmm. like just a quick um, my two cents on it. Um, to anyone who has had to experience what has happened and had to like stay quiet for such a long period of time, to have the strength to finally come out and explain what happened is very brave of you, and we respect all of you who have able to do that you're the real ones out here you give strength yes sir for them to do it to themselves yes sir all right well i think that concludes our weekly uh weekly uh thing of uh stuck on loading and loading complete so we're gonna go ahead and move on to the next subject which is the uh anime recap all right arthur Uh uh-huh i know you haven't seen any anime besides (laughs) kaguya i I know that right (laughs) let let me just say Did, did we did we talk about kaguya sama last episode we, i don't we remember talk, I, I think we did or i think i did at one point but um i don't want to like stay here and just keep bringing up kaguya sama all the time because you know that that would be just incredibly repetitive mm-hmm. um check, check out a review of kaguya sama by the way we did it that was episode that was one of our older episodes yes if you uh if you're for all anime heads out here go ahead and check that one out um uh-huh. also be sure to rate this podcast five stars yes <laughs> Um, what I will say, um, there are some summer anime that did catch my eye. I mean, I think the biggest one has to be God of High School, which is essentially High School. a webtoon. Like, do you know um, the webtoon app or like just webtoons nope. in general? It's essentially an app where it's like web comics. Like at the end of the day, there's these web comics that you can like uh, download and read, and they're essentially like colored manga, but um, more in like the style of like comic books. But they're taking right. one of those, one of the most popular ones, which is um, God of High School, and they're adapting it into that anime. And from what I've heard and even seen from some of the uh, uh, clips that I'd be seeing on Twitter, Instagram, and stuff like that, it it looks really good. You know, you know I don't know much about webcomics or, or manga that much. I don't read a manga that often. The only manga I've seen is going to sound really freaking crazy, this name. Mm-hmm. But bear with me now. The name of this, this, this one in particular is called Dog. Oh, no. No, Nigga. I already know. I already. Yep, so, there it is. so here's the thing, right? Here's the thing, right? I like. I was just scrolling through like memes. I like memes. I saw a meme of this thing. I was like, no way. This, 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 this is an actual thing. You know what I mean? And yeah. I look it up, and I, and I read it like with my friends, and it's like, it's like actually good, but like funny at the same time. I can't even explain it to you. That's like one of the only manga I've read this entire year, just because I was just in shock about the title and just you know what I mean everything else, but. For the on the anime tip, however, I, I have been watching Food Wars. I recently got into Food Wars. I I know that show's been out for quite some time, like twenty fifteen, I believe, for the first season. And honestly, I didn't know if I would be into this anime because I I didn't know how 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 interesting cooking could get. But yep. the show is actually really 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 good because it it, it basically takes take like a take take like any shonen. Like a My Hero Academia, or, or even even like a Naruto, the intensity mm-hmm. from those fighting scenes and like all those stuff. Now, now take that same intensity and apply it to like a kitchen. That's what Food <laughs> Wars is, pretty much. And it's it's a really good show. Me personally, I like to cook. You could learn a thing or two about cooking if you watch the show. I've, I've definitely learned something about cooking. Uh, it was it was about uh, honey. If you know, you know. Honey. If you watch the show, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So. So yeah, if you if you're into cooking and you like anime, watch this show. You might learn a thing or two, actually. So good, good on you. I've watched all four seasons. I'm, I'm waiting for the fifth season to finish right now, so I can go ahead and watch that all through in one go. But uh, yeah, Food yeah. Wars got my Not thumbs bad. up for sure, for sure. Not bad. Uh, I, mm-hmm. I definitely am gonna have to check it out. I know um, my friend has uh, like Joel has told me 
to watch it. I just always put it off because I never thought that I would like a show about, you know, cooking and, you know, the whole anime um, exaggerating all of the stuff. But, you know, maybe I'll give it a shot. I'll give it an honest shot. Oh, it's shot. good. Oh, um, it's good. If I watch four up. seasons of that, you know I don't watch four seasons of anything. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what? Couldn't even watch Wakfu. <laughs> can't even finish like episode hey, nine of Walk Through yet. Yet I hey, watched four seasons this, of that. Hey, you know what's funny? I can actually tell Joel, like, yo, he'd be talking shit about Walk Through, and then he might actually like, you know, listen to this fully. You Perhaps I mean? <laughs> who knows? All right. Anyways, but, that's that, that's it for the anime recap for this week. Uh, let's go ahead and move on to the uh, gaming news. There's quite a lot of stuff that we missed since we've uh, last been here. There's been. A, there's been a conference from Ubisoft. There's been a conference from Xbox as well. So, but we're gonna go ahead and start with the uh, Ubisoft conference. Get that one out of the way first. Mm-hmm. Uh, all right. So, did you did you watch this one, or are you just looking at the uh, recap? I'm honestly looking at the recap. I saw Microsoft uh, quite mm-hmm. a bit of it, but I didn't see Ubisoft. The only thing I saw from Ubisoft was um when I think the black uh, the black Okage showed his um. Watch Dogs Legion and Assassin's Creed Valhalla gameplay that he got invited to. Uh, aside from that, I know about Far Cry 6. Uh, I know that Brawlhalla actually is coming to mobile devices. Cool. Which, cool. honestly, I never thought about it coming to mobile devices, but I'm not surprised. You know, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like, I, I, I can definitely see it going to, like, you know, Android and iOS. Yep, yep. Oh, okay. Let me let me see uh, what else was. Uh, I'm looking at this article right now. I actually did watch the presentation uh, for this one. So uh, let's see what games they announced. Just say it's 2020. I mean, eh, it's probably gonna come out on the Wii. <laughs> you think? <laughs> you thinking this one's coming to the Wii? Oh uh, hell, fuck yeah! Not not I did not the Wii U. The, the Wii. The Wii. They were still making right. Just Dance games for the Wii. Mhm. Ridiculous. All right. Then we got Mythic Quest Ravens Bank ba- Banquet. Yep. Banquet. This is a sandbox kind of game. I. Don't really remember watching this. I don't remember seeing this game in the presentation at all. Uh, you got the crew two, an update for the crew two. Hey, shout isn't out to the crew that, people, the people that still play that, that game. Isn't that that one racing, the racing game. game? Yeah, yep. yes sir. You can okay, go across no the country. Yeah, no wonder I don't. I don't know too much about it. <laughs> mm-hmm. uh, update for Division two. Update for Trials Rising. Yeah, you know, you know Trials Rising, right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I played the first one way back on the 360. No, oh, I remember playing Trials Evolution. Facts, dude, that was uh, a fun game. What else? You said Brawlhalla is coming to mobile. They had a yes, they had sir. a little mobile showcase. This this is what disappointed me the most about this Ubisoft conference. They showed off a Tom Clancy game, like it looked like a Splinter Cell kind of game, but it ended up being a mobile game. I was so fucking disappointed. That is so sad. Yeah, uh, one of the one of the uh, sleepers, in my opinion, that came out of this conference was the uh, Hyperscape game, which is. A battle royale, you know, a bunch of games right now are going to be following that trend of battle royale because it's a popular thing, you know. Mm-hmm. But um, yeah, this is a, uh, I believe it's in the open beta now, and it's kind of like a, it's more of like a game where it's not in like this crazy open map. It's more of like an, in a condensed area, uh-huh. and uh, it looks good. The gunplay looks good. The you know what I'm saying the the verticality looks good because I haven't really seen a lot of battle royales with this much verticality unless you're talking about Apex when you're playing with like Lifeline but like mm-hmm. it's there's a lot of verticality in this game you can get on top of buildings like like I'm talking like big skyscrapers and all types of stuff and it looks yeah. it looks really interesting uh, besides nice. that though uh, Watch Dogs looks dope Assassin's Creed looks like Assassin's Creed and uh, Far Cry Six is a CG trailer so I got nothing to say about that yeah. Uh, I mean, I will say it's cool to have Far Cry 6. Um, I actually, like, for some reason, I've been watching a lot of Far Cry 3 and 4 videos. Because mm-hmm. I remember, y'all, you remember, I think both of us actually had Far Cry 3 on 360. I think. Yeah. I, I, I know yeah. I had it. I had it. I had it. I had it for sure. Yeah. Yeah. It was, it was pretty fun. Although, um, I shit you not, I was so terrified of going in the water because of the sharks. I was fucked and like whenever there would be a mission when I had to like swim out somewhere or if I had to go explore the map I was fucking terrified okay uh, I gotta I gotta oh yeah for Far Cry 3 yeah that was that game was definitely ahead of its time mm-hmm. <laughs> off of the 360 in my personal opinion that's probably that was probably one of my favorite games on the 360 in general love the story love the love the open world love 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 damn near everything about that game but yeah mm-hmm. great game Far Cry yes, 3 sir. 
Yeah, but it's cool that Far Cry uh, 6 is getting anything. Um, mm-hmm. Honestly, the biggest thing that I'm looking forward to now, I thought it would be Assassin's Creed Valhalla, but it has. I think it's gone to Watch Dogs Legion at this point. Yes, sir. Uh, but here's, here's the thing, right? Yeah. This, yeah. this is one thing. Oh, also, I gotta I gotta clarify something. Mythic Quest Ravens Banquet. That's actually a TV show, an Apple TV show, which I don't really care about because I don't what? have an Apple TV. But uh, one thing that I will say about this presentation is there was a lack of new IPs. Every game that they showed is pretty much a sequel. Yeah, pretty much. Aside from Hyperscape. Besi- yeah, besides Hyperscape, but that game's not even really out yet. That's uh, that's yeah. still an open beta. Uh, but uh, yeah, besides that, and it's a, and that's a battle royale, so it's like. All these battle royale games are really just sequels <laughs> to, to Fortnite. <laughs> He's chasing that gold, you know what I'm saying? But hey, uh, yeah, that's that's about it for the Ubisoft. Let's move. Over. Let's go ahead and start over to uh, move over to uh, Xbox. You know what I mean? Yes. All right. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. So the first thing they showed off in the Xbox presentation was Halo Infinite, and of course they gave Master Chief a grappling hook. Yes, they did. Also, you know what's the best part about watching this trailer? What's up? Seeing that one, I think, alien or like whatever it is, <laughs> and it looks so stupid. And it, it, like the funny part is, this is supposed to be like showing off, like you know, next gen hardware, um, you know, a whole bunch of new things. And then he looks like something straight that you would find in fucking a launch title of Xbox Three Hundred and Sixty. I, like I said, I, di- I didn't watch the Microsoft presentation, but I think I have seen like a like little tidbits of gameplay have here you, and there. Wait, quick question. Have you seen him? Have you seen the meme? I, I don't know what you're talking about, but I have seen like bits right and now. pieces of the Halo gameplay. And I, I got to say, I got to say, I'm just, I'm just really not impressed. Yeah. Like, like no offense to, to 343 or Microsoft, but like, yeah. Let, 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 me, let me send it to you right now. It's literally look at this, my guy. It's fucking. Alright, cool. Let me hilarious. let me see what you gotta show me. Bam, I like to call him Craig. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh, okay. So so right now, what's on my screen is a picture of an enemy. Is this an enemy? Uh, That's on. I believe so. A, Are a they... low. I, I I don't know. I don't, I don't think he's an enemy. It looks like something right out of Planet of the Apes, and I'm I'm very uncomfortable, so I'm gonna go ahead and move my screen away now. <laughs> yeah, so, uh, <laughs> but essentially, yeah, that's um that's gonna be one of the things in game, and mm-hmm. a but lot of people think right? would be, and it's funny. Yeah, here's the thing, right? The game visually, it it looks okay, but it doesn't really look like because Halo was uh was always the benchmark for next gen hardware. You know what I mean? It, that that Halo was originally the game where it's like, hey. Look at our hardware. Look at look at what we can do graphically with uh, this hardware. And uh, I'm not gonna say the game looked bad, but the game looked like it was running on like an Xbox One. Yeah. From I don't I, I don't know the resolution. I don't know if it's gonna be running at 4K 60 frames per second. By all means, if this runs at 4K and a stable 60 frames and it looks like that, I'm not gonna be mad. Uh huh. You know what I mean? If you gotta if you gotta take if you gotta you know I'm saying downgrade the visuals to to make it run smooth, that's great. But uh. It's not like, you know what I mean? It's, it's not like, you know what I'm saying? It's not like anything crazy. The biggest but. thing that I got was that compared to um, the older Halo games or like any other Halo game, how it was set on like a mission, like level to level um, single player structure. This looks to be more of an open world style um, narrative experience. You know what I mean? Which, you know, I think I think more and more games are starting to, like, lean to that trend. But so, so, so it's confirmed this is an open world game? I'm not sure if it's confirmed. It looks like it's open world from oh, what I saw. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Like, it had, like, it, like, when he opened up the map in uh, the presentation, there was, like, certain objectives that there were littered around the map. I'm assuming, like, maybe um, it could be the case of, like, it's still, like, level to level, but, like, the level is just massive. And there's, like, multiple objectives that you have to perform on one level. Oh, actually, hold I up. see. I think okay. That well, meme I said you. I think it really actually was an enemy. Yeah, it is an enemy. <laughs> okay, well, that's the thing. Right? I don't. Uh, uh, <laughs> so, so it was an enemy. <laughs> yeah, it was an enemy. <laughs> Planet of the Apes confirmed in Halo. Holy shit, that was funny. I just literally paused it to when the screenshot I sent you. Uh, but yeah, but no. Uh, all right, let's move away from Halo now. 
Yeah. Uh, what else did they show? They showed we got, Fable. We got hate Fable coming back. Fable. Honestly, this this didn't do nothing for me. I played Fable on a 360. I played Fable 3. I didn't play Fable 2 or Fable 1. Mm-hmm. And I, I, I think people say Fable 3 was like the worst one out of the trilogy. And I gotta say... I, I don't care about this. <laughs> I got I got to keep it a buck. I don't care. I mean, you may not care, but um, Xbox needs all the exclusives they could get right now. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you're right. I mean, they bought them companies with them games at. Yeah, but um, I will say I, I find it funny that Fable essentially skipped a generation. Like, last game that they had was I don't even remember. Uh, I think wasn't it like? Hold up last fable game release um all i know is that fable 3 was on 360 and for the longest time i didn't hear anything about on xbox one but now it's coming back as a launch title so you know cool. oh, oh so it is a launch title confirmed like or just let me see let me see, let me see. um i'm not sure here's the thing actually, they yeah. didn't show any gameplay yeah, it's a cg trailer it's a cg trailers said. don't do anything for me like if, if, the, if the gameplay is not ready don't show me the cg trailer i'm not gonna care yeah uh, but yeah, uh, take back what I said. I don't think it's going to be a launch title as far as I know. Yeah, probably not. They're probably going to crack down through that shit. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's just going to come out 2025. But uh, all right, all right, let's move on. Yes. Uh, let's see what else we got on here. Senua Saga Hellblade 2. This one actually kind of piqued my interest just a little bit. Mm-hmm. I, I did not play the first one, but I have heard good things about that game. And this is actually going to be one of the first games to come out using the Unreal Engine 5. That's going to be interesting. Because Hellblade already looked really good, the first one. So I want to see what like what kind of new things are they able to capture with the second game in the series. So, yes, sir. Yes, sir. I'll keep my like I said, I didn't, I didn't watch the presentation. I didn't see the gameplay. Yeah. But. Next game that we have on the list is Avowed. Um, this is essentially the people who have made um, the Outer Worlds, Obsidian. Uh, they're essentially making Elder Scrolls 6 without making Elder Scrolls 6. It is so, so. So this is Obsidian. This is not. This, this is not, not Bethesda. Bethesda. No, this is Obsidian. Okay. So it's. I mean, I, here's the thing. I didn't. I like. I, said, I didn't watch the presentation, but I saw. I saw bits and pieces. Like I didn't watch the whole thing. I kind of just skimmed through it. Mm-hmm. I watched. So I think. Part. I believe I saw this game. Honestly, I. This game did dead ass look like <laughs> Skyrim. I'm not gonna keep. I'm not gonna cap. Yeah, yeah, this was yeah, the Skyrim really type game. I saw it. It was like, oh shit. A first-person RPG, and they even show gameplay. Really, they just showed a CG trailer. Yeah, shit. I'm glad another company's making it. Hopefully, hopefully, if they put this one out, it's not gonna be, you know, what I'm saying, filled with bugs like Bethesda games. So hey. Yeah, yeah. I don't, I don't know. Obsidian has done the Outer Worlds, right? Yeah, and Outer Worlds, from what I've heard, is really good. Definitely, definitely. Hopefully, this one's coming to Switch as well. That'd be dope. Yeah, that'd be great. Uh, anyway, mm-hmm. moving on, we have Forza Motorsport. Moving on, we have State of Decay Three. <laughs> wait, 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 wait a second. You're not, you're not even gonna mention how they, how they didn't even like call it for, Forza Eight or Forza <laughs> Number Fucking Twenty Five or whatever. Listen, I'm gonna be completely honest. Every time they show, this also goes for any company, right? So this is your Gran Turismo's, your um, uh, Ubisoft's, the Crew, and Forza Motorsport, right? When it comes to racing games, they all look the same to me. Yeah, the only the only one I would say that I genuinely uh, like, I played Forza Horizon Two. Uh-huh. That game was actually fun, just because it's not like a. I didn't play the crew. I should I should play the crew maybe, but uh, it's it's like an open world kind of game. Like it's it's an open world driving game. I believe in the in the newer ones, you can actually get out of your car. I I think. Don't quote me on that. Mm-hmm. But hey. It cool. is, it doesn't me. But, just... the, but here's the thing, right? If you're gonna have Forza Horizon, why why bother continuing the Forza Motorsport series? You know what I mean? Uh, maybe if you if you if you're like... making a game that's pretty much better than the game in every single way, like why are you continuing this? They still have races in, in Horizon, so it's not like you're missing races, mm-hmm. and there's just a better online component because you can actually drive around in an open world with actual players. So it's like why. Why would they have this thing right here, which is like open world races, all this other shit? You know what I mean? And then they just yeah. come out with a game where it's just races. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So yeah. I don't, I don't really, I don't really get that. But hey, I think I'll say this about racing games. Um, I had an old coworker at my job who was like really into cars and racing, and he did show me like you know like some gameplay from some of them, and he explained like his history with it, and I could see why a lot of people would like these types of racing games personally. Unless it's like a arcadey type of racing game like Mario Kart, Crash Bandicoot, or Rocket League, 
Uh, you, you, uh, Crash Bandicoot? Yeah, there was a Crash Bandicoot What's next? Racing game. Sonic Team Racing? Yeah. <laughs> I'm good, bro. I'm, I'm going to just stick to Mario Kart, but I will say Forza Horizon 2 was a pretty dope game. All right, fair enough. But um, aside from that, Forza Motorsport is coming out. Uh, it, it looks better, I guess, but I have nothing really to say about the game. Anyway, moving on, we have State of Decay 3. Uh, from what I, I believe, what, you played the first State of Decay, right? A really, really, really long time ago on the 360. And how was it? Um, no comment. <laughs> no comment. <laughs> That's all I can say because it's like it's the thing. Like I, it, it's one of those games was like I played, but it, it was just like I just put it in the back of my memory because that's how yeah. long ago I played it. Okay, fair enough, fair enough. Um, but anyway, um, State of Decay Three is gonna be coming out. So for those of you who like the game and the series, um, this is just more to satisfy you. Yes, sir. All right, what's now, next? Next one, I kind of have a small history with. It's very small, but it's Crossfire X. Now, I'm not sure if you know, but um, you know in the world of the internet, there is the free-to-play first-person shooter, right? Mm-hmm. So when I was extremely young, uh, I came across a game called Crossfire, which is essentially like a very old Counter-Strike-esque free-to-play first-person shooter that to this day still has people playing it, which I, I'm surprised. And so recently, I guess Microsoft like got these guys, and they're developing Crossfire X, which is what we have right now. So, I think it's interesting that a free-to-play game that was on PC for a very long time, that I think was just like ran by like modders and stuff like that, now has mm-hmm. like an official release, like console release. Yeah. So, is this is this a sequel or is this like a what what is this? I think. Uh, I'm not sure. I'm not sure if it's a sequel or if it's supposed to be, like, a reimagining, in a sense. Like, it's like Crossfire, but just, like, on Xbox. Don't quote me on that, but it's cool that Crossfire X is going to be, like, this thing Microsoft now has. A reimagining. That's dope. Hopefully they don't reimagine that price. Keep it free to play, you know what I'm saying? (laughs) Yeah. Like I said, I'm not sure if it's a reimagining or a sequel, so don't quote me on that. (laughs) And bring it to PC. Thank you. Yes. <laughs> all, right, all right, moving on. Uh, War, Warhammer 40,000 Dark Tide. <laughs> what, what the... F- I, I don't even know what this is. I, I've, I've heard of these Warhammer games. To this day, I don't know what the fuck this is. The only Warhammer games that I ever played was the Dawn of War series. And what is it? Those, uh, is it the army game? No, 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 no. It's a strategy game. At least the Dawn of War series is. <laughs> Like there's in the Warhammer 40k universe, I think it was originally based off um, a series of books. Um, but yeah, um, they have a crap ton of like you know different types of games. I played the strategy. Just like one of them top kid. down games with the fucking yeah. tanks and shit like you that. Think of like, like StarCraft. It's like right? one of them civilization like type games. My guy. So you know those oh, types of games. Oh brother. I was a big fan of them, in all honesty. I played all the way up to two, but I never tried three because it didn't look interesting to me. Yeah, we gotta we gotta actually sit down and have a have an actual podcast discussion about the types of games that we like and don't like because yeah, because <laughs> <laughs> we, we like we like very different kinds of games. Like, uh, mm. yeah, but I'm just all right, moving on. Fantasy Star Online too. <laughs> <laughs> <Okay. laughs> Fantasy Star Online too. More news, more stuff. In this um, MMO that finally is in America, um, I know um, one of my coworkers as well. Well, not more a coworker, more like uh, my supervisor. He loves Fantasy Star Online too, and you know, it's it's a good it MMO. A, it's a good online. Wait, wait, MMO. this game's coming from Sega. Oh, you know, this shit's gonna be yeah. trash. <laughs> 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 I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm joking. Yo, you joke. just angered like the fucking that was, star. That, that was a joke. Fantasy Please. <laughs> Yo, they're getting their pitchforks ready, son. They're about to find you. They're about to DDoS your ass. Hey, man. What What is this game? Is it a, is it a, is it a it is a fighting sex- game? No, no, no. It's an online MMO. Oh, Think of God. like Final Fantasy fourteen, except it came back. It came out all the way in like 2012. And it was in Japan like for a the longest game? time. Oh yeah, God. it's free to play. It's free to play. You can get it on PC oh. and Xbox. Oh, okay. That's all you had to say then. <laughs> That's all you had to say less. <laughs> <laughs> Notice how your reaction changed immediately as soon as I said free to play. <laughs> That's funny. That's fucking hey, man. Free but is yeah. okay for me. 
But, New uh, expansion is uh, coming out, so that's cool for all of you who like Fantasy Star Online too. I haven't tried it yet, but uh, maybe in the future I will. That's all I have to say. Shit. Anyway, moving on, we have Medium. Um, I'm so, this, them, them, them Sonic games, they working out for Sega. Them niggas start making MMOs. They're walling <laughs> out right now, bro. Sega. I don't know. I don't know what they're doing over there, bro. What are they doing over there, bro? I don't know. Make a dude. good Sonic game. They're please. trying to make Sonic Unleashed 2. Please. Give us Sonic Mania 2 because the. the, the, the hey, man. Just, just do it, please. I mean, Christian Whitehead knows how to do better Sonic games than Sega themselves, so. <laughs> okay. All right. I'm, I'm, th- this concludes our segment of beating up on Sega. All right. Let's move on. <laughs> so we got Tune a game in next called week. Medium. Tune in next week where we talk shit about Nintendo and how they haven't made a new franchise in the past 10 years. Splatoon. <laughs> true, 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 true. Anyway. All right, moving on. Moving on. Medium. Medium. Yeah. Move it on. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> I don't know too much about medium. <laughs> I I don't know too much about this game either. Let me actually pull something up that could show me something. I think I think this was one of those games where it was like a I think I might have seen this when I was skimming through the, the, the little segment. Mm-hmm. Oh yes, I did see this one. This was this was the game where it was like you're you're quite literally a medium and you're talking like ghosts and shit like that oh oh that sounds cool actually i think and like you're traveling between worlds like mm-hmm. different realities and shit yeah this is on some ghost whisperer type shit shout out to all the people who used to watch fucking ghost whisperer yeah 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 oh man um anyway so that's it i'm assuming for medium uh yep 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 yep. yep Alrighty, yep. so moving on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me just shout out, shout out to all the Jennifer Love Hewitt fans. You watch fucking Ghost Whisper. You know what I'm saying? That was my shit back in the day. Shout out Medium. All right, let's move on. <laughs> all right, uh, we've got a uh, next game we got going on is we got the, the Gunk. The Gunk. So this is this was the... developed by the creators of Steam World, apparently. Yes. What do you think about this game? I think I, I saw this one too. too. Much. I didn't see this one. I, I I skimmed through it, but. I was I wasn't like, like I wasn't like oh my god I wasn't losing my socks over this game, but yeah. the art the art style from what I've seen it doesn't look awful but no the art style actually looks pretty good the art style looks looks pretty good actually okay I, I like the art style this this reminds me this game looked like a fucking a Bugs Life oh, but okay. like humans okay I think I can get it then yeah I I, I I rock with it it looked cool honestly. I like I like the art style. I like they didn't really show much to be honest with you. So I, I really got nothing else to say besides that. But yeah, All right, moving on. Enough. All right, moving on. We have uh, Tetris. Tetris. It's All right, moving Tetris. on. We got Stalker Two. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I mean, so, it's Tetris, dog. What what can you really say about Tetris? Not it's just Tetris. It's it's just Tetris, dog. Even even the um what's it called? Even the Battle Royale Tetris game that they have on Switch is just Tetris just facing against other players. I'm sure, like, some person who actually plays, like, Tetris all the time is gonna, probably going to say something like, huh, um, you don't know the intricacies that goes into putting down the blocks at certain places and the different game modes and different strategies that you have to employ. Yeah. Mm-hmm. All right, but uh, let's, let's, let's move on. This game, Stalker 2. Yeah. Uh, this one actually was another one that looked interesting, but not that interesting because it was just uh, a CGI this trailer. A, is this supposed to be, quick question, is this supposed to be a sequel to Stalker or something of Chernobyl? I, I, yeah, I believe so, because this game does take place in Chernobyl. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, like I said, didn't really do much for me. CGI trailer, I think there was like some, some in-game camera of trickery that they did, but like they didn't really show any actual like gameplay. Fair enough. But, uh, yeah. Uh, Chernobyl game. Next cool. up, more Destiny 2 stuff. Um, Don't care. Psychonauts 2. <laughs> Moving on. <laughs> I love that that happens, dude. <laughs> Psychonauts 2. Let's Psychonauts see. Let's see. Two. Psychonauts, I mean, it's been a very long time since um we've had... I didn't even think it was this game would get a sequel. The only uh, thing that really interests me about this game is the fact that Jack Black is going to voice a character. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Um, Psychonauts 2 though is a it's a very nice it's a very um, old um, 3D platformer back in the Xbox era like I'm talking about Xbox original it was very charming mm-hmm. it had a nice um, setting where you essentially like go into the brains of other people 
and see like what they were thinking and the the levels would be be would be based off of that so oh, it's this, really cool. this is a platformer okay yeah, yeah, yeah. so it's cool I'm, I'm glad like you know show psycho not some love you know, it does not look bad at all. I'll, I'll say that the game does not yeah, look bad. Definitely at all. not. I, I always like Psychonauts. Yeah. This might be. This might be. This might be actually something to play for all these uh, Xbox uh, Series X buyers. Exactly. Anyway, moving on, we have As Dusk Falls. Is I believe this was the same people that also made the uh, Life is Strange series. I believe so. Um, it's gonna oh, be. Wait, who made very... Life is Strange? Wasn't that a uh, Square Enix? No, no, no. I think they published it. Yeah. Interior Nights. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, I believe. Hold up. Life yeah. is strange. Oh um, no, they're well, actually well, well. Square Enix. You're right. that Square Enix um, published it, but developers were apparently Don Dot Don't Nod Entertainment. All right. Okay. So shout out to to them. I, I don't really know what to take from the trailer because they did not show anything besides like images or like a like CG something. I don't know. This is like an interactive kind of game. This is not really doing nothing for me. Yeah, so. it, it just looks like a simple, um, you know, narrative experience if you want to. Yeah, this looks like watercolor life for sure. And sorry, moving on. <laughs> <laughs> uh, grounded. Uh, another Obsidian game. Uh, this one, though, is kind of like like uh this is kind of like a sh like a game where it involves like a lot of like things with size mm -hmm. where it's like i believe you're getting shrunk down and things like that oh this was the game this was no no not not the uh i i said another game in this list was like it was like a fucking a bug's life this game is literally a bug's life uh, i said the gunk i said the gunk was like a bug's life but grounded is literally like a bug's life like this one is like it's it's that bro like i can't explain it any other way Jeez. <laughs> Except they're humans. Yeah. And you're fighting bugs that are your size. Mm -hmm. But yeah. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Tell me why is the one that I was thinking of. Uh, it's later down on the list uh, right now. But um, uh, out. But moving on from Grounded, um, Outer Worlds is going to get some new DLC. So if you play Outer Worlds and you like that, then enjoy. But after that, tell me why is the... Um, that was the game I was thinking of that was made by that's being made by the same developers of Life is Strange. That's the game that I was talking about. So Is it one of, is it another one of those interactive kind of games or what's yes, up? Yes. Essentially. Alright. Alright. Alright, moving on. Everwild. <laughs> Everwild. Oh, this is rare. Okay, well. okay. This this is gonna be made by Rare, so I, I already do not have faith in this game. I'm just keeping a butt. Hey, 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 hey. Let me, let me, let me, let me, let me. You know I'm saying, let me make my point first. Okay. Rare has made some great legendary games in their time, mm -hmm. but Rare has not made a good game in a long time. <laughs> sorry, sorry, see at these fans. Sorry. <laughs> sorry. All right, moving on. Oh, damn. Uh, <laughs> damn you just we got. Just, what what just is immediately this? Immediately talk down to see at thieves. Damn. It's, it's not a good game, dog. Damn. It's, it's not. <laughs> Shouts out to you if you, if you like CDs. <laughs> if you like CDs, rate this podcast five stars on Apple Podcasts. Thank you very much. All right. Uh... <laughs> oh my god! All right, moving on. Now we have Balin. So this quite a, this, this this a lot of games on this list, by the way. Yes, there is. We're almost done. We're almost done. Let's, let's go through all the relevant stuff. I don't know about this Balan Wonderland game. Uh, this is this is screen this is Screenix game, right? Yes. All right, uh, what what is this game about? Um, it's apparently a game where you use one button to do ev everything, and hmm. you're actually okay. Moving on. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, neighbor two. So, um, Hello, neighbor two. Good. First game was pretty good. Hello, yeah, neighbor two. You can actually you play uh, Hello, neighbor two now. It's an alpha. You can get an alpha build. Yes. You can also play the original on Xbox Game Pass if you have that. Mm -hmm. All right. Well. Anyway, yeah, shouts out yeah. to them. We got that uh, game definitely deserved a sequel, but yeah, definitely yeah. Uh, next we have Echo Generation. What? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't see the presentation and see that game. I didn't see. I, I, I didn't, didn't see, see that game games. either. I, I I don't know. Yeah. It's a it, it's a card. Wait wait wait. Is this a card game? It it uses a card system. Yes. Oh no. Oh man, you already about to Let me let me shit. hold on, hold on. I got to pull it up. 
Okay, no, this doesn't look like a card game. Oh, okay, okay, okay. This looks kind of like a... This is like a very stylistic kind of action platformer game. Oh, I, I, I see the combat now. Yeah, it is a card-based system, but it's not like a it's not like a, a card game in the sense that like the game is limited to the sh to the, like some cards. You could actually explore. There's a lot of exploration. I like the art style. The art style looks very like good. It's like blocky, but not in like a Minecraft kind of way. Mm -hmm. As is as like everything's a bunch of blocks. This looks like I can't even describe what this looks like, but it looks pretty good to be honest with you. It looks, okay. does not look bad at all. I thought and that... I'm not a big fan of turn-based combat, and the game looked like I had turn-based combat, but okay. it looked the, the art side. I thought dumb. I originally thought you were about to give me the same reaction that you gave me back all the way in Xbox when they gave Magic: The Gathering for free, and <laughs> you were so excited to play it because you've never heard about it, and then you opened the game up. And then you saw that it was a card game, and you literally uninstalled that shit so fast, and you li you told me, bro, why the fuck they give it out a card game for free? That was a long ass. That was on the 360. Yeah, God, I man. remember that. I don't, that I don't, funny. I don't really like card games like that. Like, if I want to play a card game, I'll go buy the cards. Yeah. Yeah, you probably just offended Miguel with that too. Damn, yo, you are on a tear, dude. First you offended. Oh well, oh First well. You nigga, moving on. All right, I <laughs> see you at the We got, we got, we got more shit to talk about. We got shit to talk about after this. So, and we're already on the forty-six minute mark. So let's just try to wrap this up real quick. All right, all right, all right. All right. Uh, what else did they show? They show Dragon Quest, okay, and uh, Exo Mecha. <laughs> oh, okay. This is like a ve vehicular game. Yes. With a. Okay, all right. Yeah. I don't know much about it, so I can't say much. I don't, me neither, but hey. Yeah, it's cool. All right, that was it for the Xbox presentation, Arthur. And I believe you have a little uh, first impressions kind of review to give us Ghost of Tsushima. Why don't you go ahead and talk about that? All righty. Well, thank you for that wonderful transition. But let me just say that Ghost of Tsushima is, honestly, it's not a groundbreaking game by any means whatsoever it doesn't do anything new to like you know revamp like open world gameplay but what it does offer is a very refined experience and or like a refined experience of what it must have been like to play as a samurai like this is honestly like this is i'd argue this is the best samurai game that wow. we've ever had like, I don't consider Sekiro and Neo to be, like, true samurai game, because they're more, like, Dark Souls-esque types of games, where you're just playing as, like, a, a samurai. This feels like a very nice samurai experience with some assassin uh, elements thrown in. And, like, the best, like, it's like I was just saying before, the best way to describe it is, like, is if Assassin's Creed went to Japan. And, you know, Ubisoft never did it, so Sucker Punch was like, all right, yo, hold our katanas real quick. Um, the gameplay is very fun. It's not too difficult, but it's also not easy. Like, you can get overwhelmed very quickly in this game if you don't know what you're doing. And if you don't know talk the about, Talk types. about the mechanics. Talk about, like, the, re the resolve system and the parry system and how that, yeah. like, is compares. So, um, instead of, like, you know, healing with, like, medical items <clears throat> and stuff like that, like, stocking up on, like, potions or, like, any herbal medicines, you instead have, like, this resolve meter, which you fill up by uh, killing enemies, doing damage, and all that stuff. The resolve meter is... <clears throat> is in charge of your health to restore your health and also to do certain attacks and even to revive yourself so it it has like this uh nice uh give and take i guess you could say where you know if you want to keep fighting you just or if you want to stay alive you have to keep fighting um parrying is also very important in this game there's regular parries and then there's also the super parries i guess you could call them where you do it at the last second you, you lay out this fucking massive strike that just like rips open their chest and it's so fucking satisfying um there's archery in the game there's assassinations there's ghost techniques such as smoke bombs kunai throws all this stuff to help you in combat and even if you don't want to like be a, a true samurai you can just like stealth kill every single person there's a grappling hook in the game that you unlock later on um i will say the parkour in the game is not the greatest. It's um, it's really wonky, and it's only limited to certain areas. 
So, okay. uh, yeah. uh, speak on the really quick. Speak on the difficulty of the game because uh, when this game uh, came out, I've seen a lot of people on the internet compare it to Sekiro because I guess uh, from a from a time standpoint, they kind of take place in the same era and they kind of. Um, you know what I'm saying? Kind of resemble each other, like, vaguely. Mm-hmm. And also, this is showed at the, the same E3, I believe. So, why don't you just compare it uh, from a difficulty standpoint? Well, in terms of a difficulty standpoint, I don't think this game is nearly as hard as Sekiro is. But, with with uh, keeping that in mind, it's not that easy. Like, this is not a button masher by any means whatsoever. If you're gonna, if you're thinking that this game is like some kind of like Dynasty Warriors games where you can just Assassin's like, Creed, yeah, or even game. Assassin's Creed, yeah, it's not really like that in terms of combat. Um, enemies will dogpile you. There's different enemy types that you always have to keep uh, being aware of because you get certain stances in the game, right, that are effective against certain types of enemies. And then when they throw multiple enemies at you, you have to manage your stances and which enemies to take out first. Like, for example, maybe there is, like, two spearmen and one brute. Maybe you want to take out the brute because he has a lot of AoE attacks and you can dodge a spearman. So you would switch to your stance and then take him out while also dodging the spearman. And then there's also archers throwing into the mix. So you also have to keep in track of that. So it, it provides this, like, nice blend of it being challenging but not overly hard. Which is right, really yeah. good. Interesting, interesting. And also, well, like I said, I haven't played the game, but just give you, give your, uh, just, just wrap up to give you your first overall impressions about the game right now, where you're at in the story. Um, it's really good. The game is very pretty. Uh, the soundtrack's amazing. Um, voice acting's really good. And at to where I'm up to right now, I'm like halfway through Act Two. I would highly recommend if you have a PlayStation Four and you like this type of like action adventure or if you ever wanted to play as a fucking samurai right killing mongolians because they're invading your land i highly recommend you just get this game show some love to sucker punch they they did a great job shout out to sucker punch because sucker punch they don't miss that often bro they don't come out games that often but they really don't miss that often they really last game they played i last game that they put out i played which is infamous second son and i love that game so shout out to sucker punch you're doing your thing uh, anything else you want to add on before we wrap up? Um, the photo mode is amazing. Graph the game mm-hmm. has a fucking beautiful environment that I have taken way many. I have this is the game that I have taken more screenshots than in my entire history of owning a PlayStation Four, hands down. Oof. More than Spider Man, more than God of War. It's honestly beautiful. Like almost every screenshot that you take in this game is worthy of like you know fucking desktop backgrounds putting in like your phone looking making it look so realistic it's so nice and beautiful it's just like ah it's great that, that was <laughs> my final thoughts amazing amazing all right well we're just we just hit the 53 minute mark so i think it's time to do the wrap up i think it is time right, for the well, wrap up so let's do the wrap up then all right guys well if you enjoyed this podcast make sure you go ahead and give us a five star rating on apple podcast helps us out in the algorithm helps us grow helps us get out to more people and uh, make sure if you go ahead and listen to us on uh, whichever platform you are listening us you are listening to us on. Know that we are available on on any other platform you can listen to podcasts, which include Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Stitcher Radio, and uh, pretty much anywhere else you can listen to audio podcasts. Also, we have a video version that you can check out on my YouTube channel, which is at Aaron Ryder A R A N R Y D E R. Once again, that is A-R-A-N-R-Y-D-E-R, Aaron Ryder. And uh, that's also where you can check out all my other socials. The ad is the same. You can find my guy over here at... You can find me at Arthur ASPS, both on Twitter and Instagram. I am using Twitter a hell of a lot more recently, and it has been a blast just sharing pictures of what I'm doing. And also, you can go on my Twitter to see when I'm live on Twitch, which you can find me at Flying Rye. Also, you can find me on YouTube at Flying Rye as well. Uh, come in for one of the streams that I may be doing. I was streaming some Ghost of Tsushima. It was going pretty good. And I also stream like other stuff like League, uh, Dead by Daylight, whatever game I'm feeling at the moment. But yeah, you can find me on those social media platforms there great 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 well all right guys i think that's been about it so once again my name is aj and my name is arthur and this has been the loading podcast episode 35 have a good one see you guys next time